guys, what's up? I'm back with another video here. And as you can see, today is going to be a DIY gift idea. And it is going to be just a little sucker bouquet. Look how cute it is. It's so cute. And pretty. And beautiful. It's so pretty. Anywho. Um, yeah, it's super simple and really fun. They're really simple, really cute, really fun. You never want to eat it because, like, you're just going to ruin it. Like, it's like, oh, no, no, put it back. <gasps> See, you don't want to mess it up, but completely edible except for the pot. Weak. Anyway, yeah. Hold on. Let me put that down. Okay, so... More videos should be coming up really soon here in the next weeks of Christmas and December and everything. I'm officially in holiday spirit, as you can tell by my Santa hat. I will be wearing this in my Christmas videos. Got my holiday bed and lights. I tried, I really did, for a Christmas and feel to my room. Anyway, um, yeah, more Christmas videos should be coming up here pretty soon. I've been really busy the past week. Um, getting all my Christmas supplies I needed to make my presents and videos and everything and then I got like a lot of my presents done so that's really big so I can start like filming filming filming, filming more uh, yeah anyway if you would like to see how to make this beautiful and yummy and pretty bouquet keep watching okay so first thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to have a pot terracotta preferably that you need to work with that I just spray painted with some sparkly stuff and under it is just some green paint so it's just terracotta and then I just taped a ribbon around a part <laughs> and I super glued a foam ball that like fit into it inside there I'm sorry I have to see I'm not going to sneeze, I promise. Okay. The rest of it's really easy. Literally, all you have to do is stab suckers into it. Just keep stabbing. See? Part one. This is literally all you do. It feels really good stabbing. It, it, it really does. Oh, crap. Now, you can do any, like, color arrangement if you want, but I'm just stabbing them in, you know. Very stress relieving. Plus, it looks super duper duper cute at the end. And I've, um, you can do different ones of these, like, same general idea. Like, I have a bunch of truffle ones, like, I had to see I had to cut like half the stick off because I'm using really small ones and then the sticks run into each other and then they the suckers don't like go in all the way and um um my mind's going hold on oh yeah and I needed something to stick the truffles under the foam so if you cut off the sucker like half of the sucker stick and then tape it under the back of a truffle it goes into the foam really easily. That's what I did. So, yeah, sorry for that, like, brain fart I just had. This is some serious biz. Just got everything that I was about to say just completely left my mind. I was just like, really mind? That's how we're going to be today? Okay. So, the only dilemma to making these things is it does take quite a bit of suckers to um complete one and yeah and i think it'd be really cool to use tootsie pops too if you don't know what tootsie pops are they're just suckers with um goodness gracious tootsie rolls in them i'm sorry i don't know what's wrong with me today well lots of things are wrong with me it's just today i'm a little a little bit more off than normal so yeah in future videos that will be coming very soon. Oh crap. See? Came out. Obviously. 
Um, I have lots of recipes and everything. I have recipes. I have two more DIYs, I think, but they're not really gifts. I mean, I guess you could give them as gifts. Yeah, then you just kind of want to work your way up with this. And I will come back to show you. Okie dokie, this is the finished result. Seriously guys, it's really easy. Like you can get these little jars from Hobby Lobby or Joanne's for like 66 cents. I got a lot of them, so yeah. Suckers are a little more expensive, but not by much. And if you, go to, if you can find suckers at Costco, repositioning myself so yeah and this is not one of those things where it's like in drawing books it shows like circle circle line line that turns to a panda it's not like that it really is as simple as stabbing a piece of foam with sticks and suckers simple as that and you could probably you could do this with candy canes too but it would take a lot more. I'm just thinking of what you could stab into these things. It's endless. <laughs> anyway, like I was saying before, if you're not already becoming a geek, like and subscribe, don't forget to comment and share. Remember to geek on. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, all that stuff I said. Video should be coming soon.